Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. The Hateful Eight movie thoughts. I'm going to start with last minute notes. I think the the very ending really you know it's it's Quentin Tarantino characters in a nutshell murdering bloody sweaty chatty monologuing and you know that it's it's not entirely clear what's you know they may not have a lot of you know the, their lives may be very very short from where it you know where we last see them I I quite liked when like you know the the whole thing with the the guitar you know it's just can, can I get as long you know if you bring back anything but that guitar you know, and you can say, oh, it's just guitar, and sits there and sings, oh, thank you, you know, just, just. and then she sings, you know, yeah, she, she, like, you know, first it's just, it's, it's nice, you know, and she's just singing, and then she, I, didn't she, like, include him, like, you know, I'm gonna kill you, John, or something, in this, and then he just straight up blew those, and just, yeah, that was, that, that was pretty fun, and and then you know, with the with the the chain, you know, because she's just been free from. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I really like the twist on the the red apples. You know that you know she rolls from the, the tobacco, and then you know Tarantino narrating. You know the the. What was it? The yeah, and, and Bob was gonna enjoy some. What was it? Manzana Azora, and just yeah, that's that's funny. And just every every little bit of of Tarantino narrating, you know. It's been fifteen minutes since we left our gang, you know, and, and this is going. Oh wait, you know, yeah, rewind a little bit. Someone poisoned the coffee. She saw who it is, but no one else did. And then, you know, because they were all thinking about, they were all seeing pictures as as Sam Jackson. Yeah. When I saw that clip in the trailer, I did not think that that was what that would be what he was talking about. But that's Tarantino, isn't it? You hear a little bit of dialogue from one of the movies. And you're like, oh, I wonder what. And then you hear the context. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the the whole thing, and you know, and that's why this chapter is called Daisy Donahue's Got a Secret. I just I loved it. I I just yeah, so much fun. I really thought the I I quite liked the the bit with. The, the extremists, the, yeah, just to, to, the, the notion is aired here that the, you know, African Americans will, it's, it's easier if I just, blacks won't be safe until whites are disarmed versus whites won't be safe until blacks are disarmed. That was a very nice little yeah, the the and the 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 distinction between an army and then the the you know the the Mannix boys and finally just the the 
Dum Dum Harry Gang, some something. Yes, yeah, the the gang, Jody's gang, Jody and the gang, Jody and the gang bangers. The yeah, and and the the distinction between you know justice and frontier justice. The only way that it's justice is if it's dispassionate. That was a, a really, yeah, as a, a great little little point there. And this thing, you know, it it doesn't really say what is the, you know, for sure. you know, answer on, on the, you know, the racial relations, but it does point out that both sides, you know, I'm not saying all whites think that, or all blacks think that, but both sides, you know, some people think the other, you know, the other group of people are too dangerous for us to have let them have guns and yeah i i really it yeah it was absolutely yeah the the sometimes he just really hits the nail on the head and really sends it home and the bit about how the letter was a lie. And then there at the end, you know, Mannix agrees, you know, get, you know, the, the, they almost sit and share the lie. And yeah, and, and the moment that Russell, you know, realizes it, it completely changes. You know, the, the first, you know, at, at first he's hostile. But he's hostile towards anyone. You know, this is even before he had Daisy Domergue chained to his arm. This was a paranoid man. When he meets other people, he's like, "They're gonna try to take something of mine, aren't they? They're gonna try and take something of mine, and I'm gonna have to kill them for it." And so, so yeah, when when he first meets, you know, Maquis, Maquis. Yeah, he, he thinks, you know, this is, yeah, he doesn't think highly of him. But then, you know, the bit about the letter, and then, you know, Mannix points out that the letter, I, I love the little switches between when he's just this, you know, obnoxious, just dumb, just, you know, when when Mannix is just, you know, talking, and, and he's just being, like, dumb or obnoxious, you know, he's the guy who sits down and actually, you know, like, engages with the general, you know, I, I love the, the thing with, you, sir, are a hyena, and I, I have nothing to say to you, you know, and, the way, you know, the first time it's just like, well, that's, you know, an odd thing to say, or, you know, what an, you know, ah, just standoffish old man, you know, and then you find out later what's, you know, what's actually going on. And he wasn't just sitting there not playing chess. You know, he originally was playing chess. The, yeah. And, and the, the, the jelly bean that Sam notices that, you know, because when they're all spilled and you only have a certain amount of time to clean up, you might miss one. And the yeah the yes the 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 bits where Mannix just for a while there he's just talking you know he's just sounding dumb and he's just boasting about something that isn't that isn't true or isn't that good to begin with or you know stuff like that and then suddenly you know he's He's laughing, and you realize he's right. You know that's that. It's it. It catches you off guard. 
because Marquise was lying about the letter. You know, and, and when he says it, it's like, oh yeah, how, how could I even believe that? You know, he, it's, it's the, the, you know, it's that thing of, I th there's like a saying, I think, like simpleton's logic or something where, you know, when, when someone who's maybe not the most well-educated points to something that, you know, and it's true and just, yeah, you know, and, and what, what he just, it's, it's the, the emperor has no clothes kind of thing. He's pointing out the obvious. Well, if Marquis was dishonored and, you know, you know, would he, would the president be writing, you know, personally writing him letters? Of course not. And what he says about Marquis's past, you know, some of the details may not have been entirely, you know, but it's not like, you know, yeah, there, there are some of the things that, you know, had maybe been heard about. And certainly, once you've heard them all, you've realized, well, obviously he couldn't. And he doesn't, you know, he doesn't claim otherwise. He, what Marquis typically does is, you know, say that that worked for him because of the, you know, the, the, that, yeah, it, it just, you know, he, he doesn't deny when, when Mannix points out the, the negative parts of his past. And the, yeah, the, the letter, you know, the moment that Kirk, the moment that John realizes it, you know, his attitude completely changes. And he's not thinking, you tricked me. I wonder why. Does it make sense? He's like, you tricked me. You really are no good. Your entire race is no good because you tricked me. You know, that must mean that in our entire races, that your race is always deceiving my race. You know, and yeah, Marquis points out, you know, the, the reason that, you know, the, the letter worked it had the intended effect before you thought that I was you know personally corresponding with the president you thought that I was just a dangerous black man but the moment that you saw that then you thought ah a fellow man of arms a fellow bounty hunter let's you know let us mingle but before that you know, just just an armed black man. You know, how how can we be safe around? And just yeah, that was that was really nicely done. And it's I don't know if it's a stretch, but affirmative action and the letter. You know, the the that it's saying you may not be. You know. Yeah, it's 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 saying even though you don't already have a you know a position where you would have an especial access and and you know where you would already be you know because that's yeah when when they haven't traditionally been hiring you know minorities then yeah the it's going to be harder for minorities to get, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to explain affirmative action, but yeah, that's, that's how I see it. The, the, the letter opens doors and affirmative action the, that same way. I'm, I'm, not I'm not saying that that's necessarily what Quentin means, but that's, you know, that's something that, you know, in my mind, those two things connected and, 
it's definitely yeah it's it's the thing you know without that it's just another black man it's it's a it's an armed black man you know a man a black man who thinks he should have respect you know when when he also says you know the letter was a lie but him being a veteran wasn't you know he still fought for you know so it yeah so so the yeah the the moment that there's that one thing and i like that he's not ashamed of it either he points out you know what you think now is what you would have thought if i hadn't presented the letter now i I don't know if he's if if Tarantino is necessarily done, but this does this, this is a break in his recent period pieces, in that this does not actually retcon real life history to to fit with the Tarantino universe, and I was wondering if maybe the If the chainsaw would be, you know, would be in this Pulp Fiction, but I think you know maybe just the, the that that deleted scene from Natural Born Killers is really where you should, you know, for for that. Yes, considering the thing, I think the. The ending here was very fitting, and I'm not gonna, you know, anyone who knows the endings of both can, yes. And if you haven't, I've, I refuse to spoil the thing for, from for someone who hasn't watched it. I like that at the end of the day, we can't be sure if. If the additional 15 members of Jody and the gangbangers exists or not. Because, you know, yeah, Mannix said, you know, it was, you know, she, if necessary, she could crap out another 15 game. You know, that was, yeah, that's pretty good. And the, yeah, you know, this this thing of yeah, you know, it's it's not clear if if they do exist or not and that you know, at the end of the day, we can't be completely sure. It's it's yeah, I I suppose I shouldn't go into that, but yeah, I I like that it didn't you know, it, it ended on the ambiguous note. Maybe there were 15 more, and maybe the the town was ransacked. And the... I really like... I mean, this, this is Tarantino 101. I love how he... how the dynamic changes in a scene, especially a threatening, tense, violent one, when, you know, because I've... I knew it. I, I saw it coming. I knew that he was going to run out of bullets because he kept firing from the bed. You know, there's only so, so yeah, he ran out and he kept click and just nothing. And Jody is, is pretty funny with like, you know, and that's like, I I didn't see coming that they would shoot him, but the moment it is, yep, yeah, that's, you know, turns, you know, you know, loved it and it's like well, what you do he was he was surrendering not fast enough for me <laughs> but yeah you know he sits there and then it's the that the you know then then Mannix is you know actually let me hear her out and the and you know so 
You just want me to shoot him. And it's this thing of just because right from the start, he's he doesn't like Mar Marquise. He does not. It's purely a, you know, I also love when the moment that he he's he's the 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 backup coach you know the the moment that he's chosen to to because i mean he didn't poison the coffee he almost drank it himself so he didn't do it so yeah and and then he's like yeah that, you know everything that you know every couple of things that Marquis says you know Mannix is like yeah exactly it's just yeah so much fun and but but yeah the the yeah you know they're, then they're at the end so it's just don't want me and then he says well I'm you know I'm not and you just you know crap out another 15 and the, <laughs> the thing with you know Mannix like Falls up and lies there, and and you know, Marquis can't shoot, and, and it's like, if you are alive, you know, just get up, get your white ass up, and shoot her, and and she almost gets the gun, and then he, you know, came out and and shoots, and just yeah, just so good, and the, you know, the wounds leaving both of them, you know, mostly, you know, by themselves. Honestly, when they hang her, yeah, when when they hanged her, I thought that it was gonna be like, because they were like, you know, trying to hold her down with their bodies, but they're lying there, they're losing blood. I thought that the, the rope would like slip and she would fall back down and it would be, and and then you know then afterwards they also they tie they tie it to part of the bed and I was like that's gonna that's it's it's already giving it's gonna snap I really thought that Tarantino was gonna go for the 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 poorly executed execution kind of thing because that's something that that's something that that a lot of people don't really want to think about but. Historically, a lot of executions have been botched, and the person survived, and then they had to try again or do something else. The reason the the guillotine was invented was because before the guillotine, it would be a person with an axe, and the person with an axe didn't want to. And so he'd get himself drunk to try to work up the courage. And then he'd miss. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily funny, but Tarantino could definitely make it funny. And it's and and especially with this kind of thing where it's like this very improvised kind of thing. Yeah, that, that kind of thing really does go wrong a lot. And that includes impromptu hanging if if you don't have enough you know securing that rope yeah the person's just gonna yeah you know and i suppose that more or less covers but but yeah i maybe maybe the 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 dvd will have like maybe he cut it because he would he worried it would be too comical but I could definitely see Tarantino making something fantastic out of a botched execution because that really is, because I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying that, that execution and murder and that kind of thing is funny, but someone like Tarantino can make that be funny. And we are watching a Tarantino movie, you know, no, no one, is thinking that it's gonna be just this just yeah we we know that it's gonna be you know earlier in the movie the the 
I loved every single time, you know, Jennifer Jason Lee got hurt in one way or another. And and to be fair, at the by the end of the movie, you realize she deserved everyone and worse. So, you know, she's a horrible, horrible person, a murderer, and yeah, you know, she she gleefully announces that if she is killed, the the town will be destroyed, burned down. You know, even if that's not true, if that's something she made up because she's hoping to save her life, what what an ugly thing to come up with to, to lie about to try to save your own life. You know, just yeah. So so but just the you know John smacks her in the face and said, We gotta work out a system of you know communication. When I smack you in the face, that means shut up, you know, and the, you know, and, and she like, and, and he gives her, I, I'm pretty sure that's like jerky, and that's, yeah, she's got to eat something, and yeah, they, I'm, I'm almost certain they had that back then, it's, it's, because it's, it's dried meat, you know, that goes back a long time, and yeah, so, yeah, and the, yeah, the the her you know spitting out blood and the you know and and when he gets to look at the the Lincoln letter and then you know she like spits at it or yeah I'm pretty sure she spits at it and then Marquis like you know yeah he like shoves her he punches her and then she falls out and John goes with because of the hand I just. And hey, OB, you gotta stop. They fell out. <laughs> that's that's really funny. And just yeah, when Jody shot right in front of her, and when like you know, and all the blood in on her face, and you know, that's the one time that she's not indifferent to blood and such in her face. And what was that other thing? Was like, yeah, yeah, when, you know, when she's like, yeah, John, you're dying, and then he vomits up blood onto her face. Even then, she's like, yep, I still got you. It's, you know, and the, yeah. And when, when I first saw Bruce Dern die, you know, I was like, oh, we're really not going to get more, but nope, we, we got more, and we have the, you know, Oh, it looks like, looks, you know, he's beating you, and, and he, I don't remember what he says, but just throughout the movie, even then, even before, he's just so grouchy and, you know, yeah, just so, so funny, and just, and yeah, they literally kill him, right, and then they put the, the thing, I love that, you know, that Marquis, you know, picked away, and yep, there's the blood right there on the, you know, he was murdered right there on his chair. Excuse me. And the... But, but, yeah, the... I guess I could also briefly... Sh I like that, you know, basically, you know, it starts out as just, you know, when... when when she's asked about, you know, when, when first John says, you know, one of them isn't what he says he is, you know, and, and then, you know, I think it's Marquise who asks her, what, what do you think about his ramblings? Oh, yeah. Me and, me and one of them is in cahoots, and we're just waiting for you all to fall asleep, and we'll kill you all. And, you know, at the time, even before she said that, we're like, He's being paranoid. They're not. That's just ridiculous. And then we find out not only was he right, not only was one of them, all of them, basically, you know, the, the only person who wasn't, yeah, Mannix was really the only person who wasn't at all working for, you know, OB, of course, but, you know, also wasn't. But, yeah, the... Yeah, everyone who wasn't on that f second coach ride, the one that we follow, the one that we start the movie at, was actually in on it. You know, everyone who was alive 
by the time that car arrives. You know, everyone was in on it. Although, you know, the you know the general was just you know yeah whatever. Okay, I'm allowed to say hello, yes, and good night, and your name, my name. Okay, yeah. And the yes, I I can't say in this. I I really like. The Tarantino pulled the Fonda with Channing Tatum. That I, I just mm. that's good. That's good. I never doubted you. I knew you'd do it, and you did it. And I see you did. I, I, there's, that's good. That's good. Because I, I really, you know, the, the man, I haven't watched yeah, the only Channing Tatum role that, I'm, I'm certain I watched G.I. Joe, the first one, but I, I'm not sure I've watched anything else with Channing Tatum. So again, I can't say for sure, but I do get the the impression that he is this kind of, you know, romantic, you know, interest, and he's like, you know, friendly and, yeah, and and having him as this, you know, and and seeing him just ruthlessly gunning down these people, and just yeah, it was, yeah, the the fantastic piece of work and if you don't know what I mean by saying he fonded then you need to watch Once Upon a Time in the West and anything else that has Once Upon a Time possibly barring Mexico but anything else that has Once Upon a Time in the time watch Sergio Leone's filmography please Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.